Tyson Fury demanding more time for his old man John Fury to tangle with none other than the legendary Mike Tyson. You heard it right, Tyson Fury's out here laying down the law like it's nobody's business. He's all like, listen up Mike, my old man ain't your average Joe, he needs time to get in shape, you feel me? And man, you can practically feel the intensity vibrating through the air. Now before you start scratching your head, let's break it down. Tyson Fury, the king of the ring, ain't playing games when it comes to his pops. He's straight up saying, John Fury ain't stepping into that ring until he's ready to give you a run for your money. Talk about a power move, am I right? But hold on to your boxing gloves, folks, because the plot thickens faster than a protein shake. The boxing world split right down the middle on this one. Some folks think Tyson's just buying time, playing mind games with the competition. Others? Well, they're sniffing around, wondering what's really cooking behind the scenes. And let me tell you, the tension's so thick you could cut it with a sparring glove. Will Mike Tyson play ball and give John Fury the time he's asking for? Or will he seize the moment smelling blood in the water like a shark in the ring? But wait, there's more. Picture this. John Fury, the man with nerves of steel, throwing down the gauntlet at none other than Mike Tyson himself. And you better believe Tyson's not one to back down from a challenge. He's all cool, calm, and collected, ready to take on whatever comes his way. And just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, Francis MMA champ turned boxing sensation steps into the ring. I mean, talk about blurring the lines between different combat sports, am I right? Initially, Tyson's giving Francis the side eye, but then something shifts. Suddenly, it's game on and the crowd's going wild. But hold on to your mouth guards, cause we're just getting started. John Fury's got some beef of his own, and it's not just with Mike Tyson. Nah, he's got some unfinished business with KSI, and he's not backing down till he settles the score. And let me tell you folks, it's a showdown for the ages. Wreck to the bud, people. It's not yeah. bad, is it? Not bad. It's not bad. Big shout out Coffin Sports. Yeah, man. Coffin Sports is a one. And speaking of showdowns, Joe Egan's throwing his hat into the ring, stirring up the pot even more. I mean, we're talking about rivalries heating up faster than a hot grill on fight night. But amidst all the drama, there's something deeper brewing, something that speaks to the heart of the boxing community. But John Fury's disapproval for KSI and Joe Egan might just be a good thing, since word on the street is he might just head straight for the big league, which is Mike Tyson. Now let's talk dollars and cents, because John Fury ain't playing around when it comes to his cash. He's demanding payment for a bet with KSI, and you better believe he's not taking no for an answer. It's a high stakes game, folks, and the chips are on the table. Joe Egan. Here's where it's at. You're saying KSI is backing you for millions of pounds when they can't pay me me 200 what they owe me. Once it's in the account, then we might be able to do something. But let's not forget where John Fury came from, because this guy's a true fighter through and through. From the gritty gyms to the bright lights of the ring, he's seen it all. And now, now he's ready to take on the biggest challenge of his career, staring down Mike Tyson like it's just another day at the office. And speaking of Mike Tyson, the man's a legend in his own right. Lightning fast knockouts, jaw dropping victories, you name it, he's done it. And now, now he's got his sights set on John Fury, turning this potential clash into the event of the century. But let's not forget the man behind the gloves. John Fury's not just a fighter, he's a showman, a provocateur, and a force to be reckoned with. He's not afraid to ruffle some feathers and stir up controversy, all while staying true to himself and his love for the sport. And as the story unfolds, John Fury emerges as a symbol of resilience, determination, and the undying spirit of the human soul. He's ready to face whatever comes his way, with fists flying and determination burning bright. Usyk didn't hold back, folks. In a recent interview, he straight up labeled the Mike Tyson and John Fury showdown as bullshit. Yeah, you heard that right. He didn't sugarcoat it one bit. And let me tell you, his words cut through the noise like a well-placed uppercut in the ring. But here's the kicker. Usyk's not just spouting off hot air. He's eyeing that heavyweight throne with the kind of focus that sends shivers down the spines of his competitors. He's been patiently waiting, biding his time, and now he's itching for his shot at the champ. Now rewind a bit. Remember that whole debacle with the scheduled face-off on December 23? Yeah, it got postponed faster than a heavyweight's jab. But fear not, fight fans, because the new date's been revealed. February 2024. Circle that date on your calendars, folks, because it's going to be one for the history books. But amidst all the chaos and drama, questions are swirling like a tornado in the ring. Will Tyson really entertain the idea of stepping into the ring with John Fury? At first, it seemed about as likely as a snowball's chance in the desert. 
But slowly, oh so slowly, Tyson's starting to come around. And you know what? Usyk's got a point. In the world of boxing, it's not just about throwing punches, it's about the green stuff too. That's right folks, we're talking about cold, hard cash. And Tyson? Well, he's not one to turn down a fat paycheck now, is he? Fury Sr., a larger-than-life figure in the boxing community, has captivated audiences with his colorful persona and unwavering support for his sons, Tyson Fury and Tommy Fury. Yet, his latest antics, culminating in a brazen challenge to the revered Mike Tyson, have prompted a swift and candid response from the former heavyweight champion. Tyson's assessment of Fury's callout was unequivocal. He's out of his mind. This succinct declaration, shared by Happy Punch Promotions, reverberated across social media platforms, eliciting a chorus of agreement from fans and observers alike. The comment section overflowed with sentiments echoing Tyson's sentiments, with many expressing apprehension over Fury's willingness to engage in such a perilous endeavor. The specter of Tyson's storied career looms large over the discourse, serving as a sobering reminder of the inherent risks associated with professional boxing. Tyson's decision to retire in 2005, prompted by concerns over his own well-being, underscores the gravity of the sport's physical toll. As fans reflect on Tyson's illustrious career and the challenges he faced, there is a palpable sense of apprehension surrounding the prospect of his return to the ring, especially against an opponent, as formidable as Fury. The disparity in professional records further accentuates the asymmetry of the proposed matchup. While Tyson boasts a storied legacy and a resume replete with accolades, Fury's modest record pales in comparison with his last professional bout dating back to 1995. Despite rumors of Fury's participation in bare-knuckle bouts, the prospect of his return to sanctioned boxing remains uncertain, further complicating the feasibility of the proposed showdown. As speculation swirls and conjecture abounds, the overarching question persists. Will John Fury's audacious challenge materialize into a sanctioned bout against Mike Tyson? While the allure of such a spectacle is undeniable, the inherent risks and ethical considerations loom large, prompting introspection and debate within the boxing community. But wait, the story doesn't end there. It's not just about Tyson and Fury, it's about the soul of boxing itself. It's about the legacy, the risks, and the ethics that define the sport we love. You see, boxing isn't just about two fighters duking it out in the ring. It's about honor, integrity, and respect. It's about knowing when to throw in the towel and when to fight another day. And in the case of Tyson and Fury, well, it's a tale as old as time. As the debate rages on, the boxing world finds itself at a crossroads. On one hand, there's the allure of the spectacle, the promise of fireworks and drama that only a matchup of this caliber can deliver. On the other hand, there's the sobering reality of the risks involved, the potential for harm and tragedy that hangs heavy in the air. But amidst the chaos and uncertainty, there's a glimmer of hope. A hope that perhaps cooler heads will prevail. That Tyson and Fury will recognize the gravity of the situation and act accordingly. That they'll put aside their egos and ambitions for the greater good of the sport they love. And that's a wrap, folks. As we wrap up this wild ride through the world of boxing, let's take a moment to soak it all in. From the fiery exchanges between Tyson and Fury to the heated debates that followed, it's been one heck of a journey. But hey, as we close this chapter, let's not forget the heart and soul of the sport. It's not just about who wins or loses in the end. It's about the stories, the struggles, and the sheer determination that define the fighters we admire. So, as we move forward, let's carry with us the lessons learned, the memories made, and the camaraderie shared. Because in the end, it's not just about the knockout punch or the title belt. It's about the indomitable spirit that lives on in every fighter. Here's to the next round, folks. Keep your gloves up, your chin down, and your eyes on the prize. Because in the world of boxing, anything can happen. And the only thing that's certain is the thrill of the fight.